What if in a culture that is comment driven rather than conversation driven, we actually modeled how you come around ideas from different backgrounds and find this common place. Thank you guys for being a part of this conversation around faith, life, and culture. Everyone has a different platform. Songwriters, authors, athletes, comedian, pastors. These conversations revolve around this album, Citizen of Heaven. So I'm excited to see where these songs take us and what conversations and issues they bring to light. Let's pray, yeah. Pray that you bring peace to this room, that people would feel vulnerable, transparent, feel comfortable that this is a safe place amongst friends. I want to know how have your personal experiences shaped your faith? Knowing that all of this can fall apart and go away and I would still have Christ, yeah. that's the For sure. first thing. That's you know nice. what I mean? So it's like, okay, I know that. Got to remind myself of that every day. Got to remind myself of who he is. It's like, yo, Jesus didn't come to make bad people good. He came to make yeah. dead people alive. We have a, a choice to listen to certain voices, and right. what voices we let in and what voices that we try to block. And when you know Jesus, you're a citizen of heaven. It's such an encouraging message to them to say, hey, just hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep fighting. Keep hanging on because this isn't your home. You're going <clears> home <throat> one so day, good. and that's going to be great. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I was locked up. For those who don't know, I did some time. The Lord spared me for that year and he kept me and he kept me mm. happy. What I thought I wanted, what I thought was the right deal, what I thought, oh, I'm going to go home and visit mm. with people, it wasn't that right. time. It wasn't time for that. You said Fern got out of prison, you got out of religion. What was your journey when you say you got out of religion? I remember when I first came back to church from not going to church for like years. Wow. And being how like this is so awkward like you know like I <laughs> stop that. I'm just saying I just have we've all been faithful but. but yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be called a citizen than a Christian. Uh, not as much about getting us to heaven as it is about getting to heaven here. Mm. It's not just what you get as a citizen, it's what you give back if you're a citizen. It's great. Yeah. Well, I mean, what does that look like in everyday life? It looks like befriending people who don't look like you. I think one of the greatest compliments Jesus got is the accusation that he was a friend of sinners. Yeah. How cool is that? Travis, I've known you like seven minutes now. I really like you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You really can't have unity without diversity. Yeah. It's when all of us agree that we are different, mm -hmm. but we come together and say, this matters more. Yeah. The point is like, worship whatever you want. Yeah. It's not, we're doing like, oh, if you're a Methodist, you do this. If you're charismatic, you do this. I think you have to get rid of competition. You have to get rid of comparison. You have to get rid of criticism. And I think that the character of the church has to be restored. We have to agree to disagree on certain things. But we don't have to agree on 50, 52, and 57. We agree on one and two. Love the Lord your God with our hearts, our minds, right. and love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Man, if we agreed on that, the world would change because the Christians would change the world. We're not called to like people. We're called to love people. <laughs>